Hey everybody, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through a better way to track your software using PDQ inventory. Now, I've built dynamic collections, which is nothing new. You've probably all done this before, but you'll notice right here, I've got a collection that uh, keeps track of QGIS software. Now, if I open this up and you take a look at it, I've got QGIS version higher than 3.2.3. That'd be the latest version, right? not lower than 3.2.3 so you notice I've got 3.2.3 the version number in two spots here okay I've got it in two spots in the old collection and then if you've got a report which I do have I also have it right here under defined reports two spots there so when QGIS or whatever software comes up within the version I've got a lot of work to go maintain and update those, you know, and to be honest with you guys, I can't type that well. I mean, you probably noticed I made a mistake in one of them anyway. So the better way to do this is to use a variable. So I'm going to take you through building that variable. So you go to options, variables, and then we're going to build, obviously I've got it right here, the QGIS version, QGIS, I'm sorry, but QGIS version, okay. Now, as soon as, I actually just did that one, as soon as you build that, right, you'll notice it's going to put an at sign and a parenthesis around that, okay? I just did that so you could see that. When you reference it, you are going to need to make sure you use that at symbol. So I am going to actually copy this because for the life of me, I am not good at typing. Now, putting that value back in a 3.2.3, 3.4.1 is the latest, but you'll see why this is so important. I'm now going to go back and edit all these. So I go here, replace the version with the variable. Even in the description and the title, I can change this and use variables. There we go there. Save that one. I'm going to do the same thing in the latest version. I'm going to go replace the actual value with a variable. I'm going to do the same thing again up in the description value of the variable and then you know to round this out properly let's go do that report and we are going to go and change the value again and the description with the variable and as it sits right now everything now is where it was before with 3.2.3 however let's say 3.4.1 version comes out all I have to do now is go into variables, change that 3.2.3 to 3.4.1, and everything, all six of those spots have now been changed because they're referencing the variable. So it's a one and done there. So again, if I pop this open, you now see, look, 3.4.1, and these are all the machines that have a version of uh, QGIS that's later than 3.4.1. Latest version, 3.4.1. None of them. These guys need the update, and I bet you money, we'll check that report. You'll see 3.4.1, and apparently they're all old. So there you go, one and done. So you can reference variables in descriptions. You can use variables in your dynamic collections. You can use them in your reports. And again, if you type as good as me, the less you have to do it, the better. So that's how you're going to use variables to help keep track of your software that's not in the collection library. Thanks for watching. I'm Lexington.